I guess we're not playing any games with sprites in the borders then today. That's about as good as I can get it. And probably not uh, joystick port one games either. <coughs> as long as the footage comes out alright. Right well. It's now 9.35. So the camera had about ooh, 50 minutes of charge. 45 minutes. So there's at least another 10 minutes on that shit. And uh, nice hot thermos of tea. So, absolutely wiped out. All I did was uh, feed me cats, change their water, clean their bowls, obviously, new biscuits, raise up the uh, shitty Argos Executive Bulgarian hard leather office chair. Yeah, bollocks. This thing is so fucking badly designed. I'm going to cut the fucking armrest off. Come on. And I'll just move the camera. Oh, you asshole. There you go. Stupid thing. Hey. Let's line up the camera again. Did the camera move back or something? You asshole. Well, now it's the oldest thing is to set up. Am I? Close enough. Absolutely wiped out, mate. Just moaning about the fucking millennials is uh, fucking tiring, mate. <sighs> Feel like that guy from uh, Sons of Anarchy. So, do I play games I don't know if I'm going to like or not, <clears throat> or do I play something that I would like? Uh, Rainbow Warrior looks absolutely shit, uh, and because uh, the people who wrote it ain't got a clue had to do colour games on the C64 immediately. The Atari fanboys jump on that game and say, see, C64's all grey and dull, Ooh, just look at Rainbow Warrior on the Atari. Yes, mate. Well, when a prick does the uh, C64 version, of course that's going to be the case. It's only 50% the case. Uh, in uh, the case of a case, of a truckload of Rescue on Fractalus on the C64 which was coded by that prick who wrote Seamus uh, and we're going to play Seamus this is uh, they must have looked at this game and thought yeah he can definitely uh, program 3D fractal graphics optimised for the uh, C64 motherboard and weird screen mode as well as the genius uh, Lauren Carpenter did in like a week we only only took him like a day and a night to actually do the first beta, I suppose, of the uh, fractal engine. Which was obviously optimised. But then no one ever touched it. And uh, the reason I know that is because I'm sinking on the uh, Argos executive chair. Ah, for fuck's sake. I might as well just pretend I'm like a five foot tall old person and put like three cushions on this bastard and leave it at the bottom. But the Eidolon runs exactly the same speed on the C64 and the Atari 800 so... But yeah you need the uh, colours of the Atari really. Well at least if it was faster. Yeah five. I think Zaxxon does that when it loads from tape. <laughs> right, it 
he's fucking joystick pulled by. This is fucking big 20 quality music. There you go. <coughs> Get the tea ready. quicker if I took the top off but who's gonna uh, hold the roll up my wife ain't got a wife for me so all right novice I do what's the uh, map business what does f1 do whatever that means f7 to start Right, camera's bloody moved again, has it? Oh, I don't know if it has actually. No, I don't think it has. Here we go. Big 20 quality coding. Yeah, this is brilliant, mate. Why don't you come and code rescue on Fractalus for us? Oh, fuck off. Still like rescue on Fractalus back then. But only because uh, my parents didn't have like 100 quid for an Atari 800 XL. And probably another 25 quid for their tape deck. I don't think they were as expensive as the Commodore ones. No, they might have been. Why is it so slow when there's like one fucking character on the screen? Yeah, it's like too much speed ups on Gradius. I understand the logic in that, you go twice as fast once you cleared the enemies. Not a very good game, it's a very early game, but still. It's no Manic Miner, it's no Blue Max, no Beachhead, it's no Forbidden Forest. Ah, bollocks. I'd rather play Berserk on the VCS. Unfortunately, that's not really possible right now. Probably should have loaded the file browser for maximum battery time before relighting my roll up. So after all the uh, Octavius kitten type fucking uh, moaning and shit. Ah, bollocks, joystick port one, of course, of course, fucking of course, as uh, Bricktop would say in a snatch, so I'm going to have to think of some films to watch. There we go, like I said, guy who uh, wrote that file browser, so pressing down on a joystick plugged into port one resets a fucking computer is a fucking dumb cunt yeah I said it mate what are you gonna do about it huh you little prick so whatever that key is which I can't be bothered to find out so we need a new file browser for uh, SD2IC as if it hasn't got enough problems mate Mm -mm. We've done all of those that I can be bothered to do. Uh, really, is only synapse in there. Mm. See, from Rainbow Warrior downwards, they either look shit or I know they're shit. And if I wanted to play a baseball game, I'd play World Series Baseball. Which for some odd reason is linked to Konami, even though there is no Konami arcade game called World Series Baseball. Zero hits for that on uh, Google. But it's uh, labelled as Imagine Stroke Konami. 
fucking go and stroke yourself, mate, you fucking wanker. That's not true. Spreading lies about the uh, C64. Well, that is a good game. I'm sure uh, Konami would love to have something to do with it. Well, it's a game I used to play on my mate's uh, Atari 800. Well, nah, I don't know if I would call him my best mate because I already had a best mate and he hadn't done anything wrong so but he was a good mate up until his jealousy when I got a 520 STM at the start of summer 86 his dad wouldn't buy him one but his dad earned a hell of a lot more money than me so it's not really my problem is it you need to have words with your dad, mate, about the uh, critical requirement of having a 16-bit computer to do your A-levels or whatever. That's how I sold it to my family, and luckily they bought that bullshit. And obviously it helped that the uh, 520 STM and one 3.5-inch disk drive cost less than the Commodore 128 and a 3.5-inch disk drive. E and I already had a C64. So I didn't need to buy a Commodore 128D or anything like that. <laughs> Infinite seeds. Press trigger to stop. Luckily it's port 2. How'd you move it? Can you not move? No, you can't move. Do you need two joysticks to move or some shit? So I don't actually remember playing the game. But I know that, you know, I did play this on my mate's Atari. There's only so many Atari 800 games in like 1983. So I don't know if you press another key to do something else, but this is pretty shit actually. Hang on. Am I... Right, am I actually planting them? Are they like trees that I'm planting? Right. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, bother. The controls are really shit. It's like an elastic band. So when they grow, oh, bollocks. Are they killing them when they're like too small? Now we're out of seeds. Well, if I'd known I could do that with the trees, is that more seeds? No, how would you get more seeds? Here? Now, a game I do sort of remember playing, as in I can see the graphics when I think about it, is uh, I think it's called Firefighter. <laughs> that was really good on the Atari. <clears throat> like I always said, because of the type of games I like, because I had a VCS, you know, from 1980 to like, well, forever really. Um, <clears throat> I would not have liked Amstrad or Spectrum games or MSX UK games. Now, the MSX cartridge games were all right, but even then they don't have smooth scrolling. So I required fast, smooth characters and fast, smooth scrolling. It's a really weird game. So what am I doing now then? Okay, so now I can't move. Am I supposed to do that? Yeah, I'm not on rapid fire or anything. Well, he was moving. I don't get this game. Now what bollocks, it's time for a bit of fucking Lord of West. 